Did the doctor ever tell you, or did he ever say the word cancer? It's a diagnosis, and now we're confirming because I'm yeah. wanting to do that because I'm praying to God I don't fucking have cancer. Why are you praying to God two years after you said that you have cancer that you don't have cancer? If, if Boogie can confirm, oh, uh, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, um, nope. and he actually has like a doctor confirmation of the blood cancer, I'll throw five thousand dollars towards his medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. <laughs> I do have cancer and know it is very unlikely, but I guess it's possible my doctor could be a fucking quack. I guess it's possible he's been lying to me for clout. It is confirmed. Mr. Boogie is going on a speed run to embarrass himself as much as he can in less than 30 days. And so far he has been successful. I don't know if this is a humiliation kink that he has or he's going for a personal record to set the new lowest of the low. Dig as much as he can and once he surpassed the low of the lowest that anyone has ever been in their life, there can be Boogie, and that's going to be named after him. So his name will be remembered. 100, 200 years from now, they, someone does something really fucked up, they're going to be like, oh my God, bro just did the Boogie. Now to speed you up to things, three weeks ago, Mr. Boogie promoted a coin called Fatty. I'm here to tell you the truth and the hacks to help you break free from the matrix so you can be a brokey like me. Fatty for life. <laughs> a quick hump hump dump. He, what did he hump at? He humped the shit out of his communities who've been supporting him for a decade wallets and once he got confronted by the crypto police what was his excuse i told them not to buy it but why did they buy it in the first place i only shared the link the coin i launched it but i was making fun of it in the first place i told everyone not to buy it it's their fault for being stupid and the second excuse that he had was he said that he needs he needed the money asap to pay for his medical bills because he has cancer he announced he had cancer two uh, two years ago on his channel something an absolute normal person would do after after they've been diagnosed with cancer and they know they're dying, they will come sit in front of the camera and make a YouTube video. Second embarrassing moment he had, we covered the video on this channel where Kimstar, who invited two people who absolutely love each other so much in his house to celebrate 4th of, 4th of July and let the fireworks between war, uh, turn on between these two. And just last night, Buki and his friends were having a podcast where everyone just shits on boogie the whole time that's the whole entertainment in that podcast destiny a very popular streamer decided to enter the chat with an apron and what's that what's that spoon thing for cooking bro that fucking english left the chat he in and doesn't matter he entered the chat he entered the voice call he entered the podcast for one purpose and one purpose only to cook the shit out of Boogie. Came forward and accused Boogie of faking his cancer for sympathy, care, and donations throughout the whole thing. I gotta tell you, Boogie's response to the whole thing was fucking embarrassing. I swear to God, if you put Megatron in that conversation, she could have had better answers than that. And the way he responded to Destiny on all the accusation to save his own ass made Homelander a grown-ass man sucking on titties for milks look normal but first let me take you to the crypto police video where he posted it five hours ago confronting the whole fake cancer situation to give you a little bit of context about this in 19th of june that is when mr B boogie decided to collect five or ten thousand dollars to scam his own audience and with that money he said he's going to take it for his medical bills and when coffeezilla confronted boogie of showing him receipts of the medical bills that you actually paid for on the 26th of June, that's when they had the, their whole video. He only provided less than $300 worth of stuff. So that means he had stole the money. The money was not spent. So he never showed that he spent that $5,000 for his medical bills. And in 28th of June, he came forward and he said he wanted to pay for those medical bills, but he never did. So he still has the money that he can literally give back to the people. I want Kafizila uh, confronted this imbecile this is exactly what happened and that when he said the money was gone he meant it colloquially and then accused me of lying you wait, wait. that's on june you 28th lie. that's on june 28th you showed me a payment for 550 on june 28th which is after we talked after you told me the money was all gone yes have you never heard of the colloquialism yeah that money's all gone it's all spent i have a specific thing i need to do with it have you never heard that colloquialism? Use fucking Google then. It's very common. I'm saying. I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. I'm not I can used tell. So it turned out he actually spent that $5,000, but it wasn't on medical 
bills that he claimed that he needed to do to get his cancer treatment to survive another day on this planet he said he needed things to do what thing is more important than giving your fans the money that you stole from them at least a small portion of it try to look good at least a little bit now that five thousand dollars i have no doubt went to his uh, 19 what is it 18 year old girlfriend to just keep them around because mr boogie with his personality the manipulation that he does on people that what a liar and what kind of an embarrassment he is he cannot back any girl he has to pay the girls to actually be with them and many of them reject i feel bad for this person who actually accepted to be with this hamburger this 18 19 year old honestly boogie you're like what 54 55 years old go lower Go, go, beat Dr. Suspect's record. Did the doctor ever tell you, or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. Why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mark markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it. Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, bone marrow biopsy to confirm it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. Because the markers confirmation. are in my blood. The hormone markers are in my blood, Destiny. Correct. But you said that you'd received the diagnosis, but now you just told me you got a, a bone marrow biopsy. It's a diagnosis, confirm. and now we're confirming. It's called a sure. confirmation. Because I'm yeah. wanting to do that, because I'm praying to God I don't have cancer. He doesn't care. I'm praying to God I'm taking the one in a million fucking chance that they're fucking wrong. And there's another reason that I have the hormone, uh, the hormone fucking, uh, imbalances in my blood. Yeah. Why are you praying to God two years after you said that you have cancer that you don't have cancer? Honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't died of diabetes yet or the millions of other diseases that you can die from by having too much shawarma around your waist. And he keeps on saying that it is a confirmation. It is still not confirmed. I got diagnosed, but I have cancer. The whatever the hell it is, polycythemia. Now I'm not no doctor. I can't even fucking pronounce the whole thing. And what does Boogie love more than food? Money. Here they decided to be like, you know what? Show us the diagnosis which says it has cancer. Just show us that small part and we will give you this amount of money. Destiny said $5,000, Mudahar said $50,000, $60,000. It all summed up to around $75,000, $85,000. If, if, uh, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, um, no. and he actually has like a doctor confirmation of the blood cancer, I'll throw $5,000 towards his medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you need money. You You're not seeing my medical records for 20, not for 50. You're not seeing my medical Five records. Five grand. Boogie says, I have to do XYZ scam to raise money because my medical bills are hurting so much. He can speak publicly about his medical issues to scam his fans to raise money, but he can't take $5,000 to privately confirm a diagnosis that he already publicly said uh, he has. Nope. Doesn't nope. make any sense, but. Uh, okay. even, even, I, even, I, even I have a fucking limit. Even I have a fucking limit. As someone this money hungry who scammed his whole audience for like $5,000, someone offering him up to $100,000, saying no to it, saying this is my last thing, this is a private thing that I will not share, that is so hard to believe. And him not showing him, having zero brain cell, means that he does not have cancer. He is the cancer. It is all 100% a lie because com logic, common sense. There's no violation in finding out you have cancer after you publicly said it and you had fund me accounts to raise money for your cancer treatment. You've literally squeezed the shit out of your cancer cause and you collected thousands of thousands of dollars. I don't know how much exactly, but now you cannot just prove it that you actually have one. And this clip has to be the funniest part of the whole four hour stream where Kim Star told Boogie, next time you see your doctor, is it possible that you ask him and your doctor says that it is not actually cancer? Is it possible? Next time you see your doctor, you just come out and say, do I have cancer? And he says, well, no, it could turn into cancer. Is that possible? I I guess that's possible. So I would have a really strong case for malpractice, but I guess that's possible. You're saying you're saying that's possible. A person that knows they have cancer would be like, no, no, that is not possible at all. I have cancer. Well, I'm saying I do have cancer and no, it is very unlikely, but I guess it's possible my doctor could be a fucking quack. I guess it's possible he's been lying to me for clout. This is what I like to call a fried double cheeseburger brain, where you eat so much fried food that your fucking brain goes fried. 
Your doctor decided to just risk everything and everything in his life just to fuck with you? As a, like, as, a, as a prank? Did the doctor wake up and chose violence that day? Went to like each different patient who don't have like cancer, but they have like signs of it. So they go, you don't have cancer. Psych, you do have cancer. <laughs> I'm sure it is a very common joke everyone uses in hospitals all around the world that they tell p patients they have cancer even though they don't. Just to have a good laugh about it and chase them for clout. Bro, Boogie is the type of person where everything is about him. Literally, even in his documentary. To give you context, in last year's Misfit 2023, two hamburgers decided to fight against each other. And according to Boogie in the documentary, he got paid $10,000. And here he sits down and he says how none, I, I got to keep none of the money because of my cancer thing and the whole boxing match. Flight, physical therapy, boxing lessons, MRI, meals. Maybe the meals could have been a little bit lower, but okay, do you, Boogie. Guys, look, I got $10,000, but look, all of it went away. So I actually don't didn't make any money. So I will put a GoFundMe so if you want to support my cancer, my fake cancer treatment. Boogie is the type of guy who would go sit uh, with a homeless person and say how hard his life is. After the whole stream last night, Boogie has apparently deactivated his Twitter because of the backlash. And Kim Star posted as well saying before he got any confirmation, he rushed to make a YouTube video announcing he had cancer. So apparently his doctor said you have polycythemia vera, but he searched it up on Google and it showed a sign of cancer that you could possibly have cancer and he just immediately went without confirming with his doctor to make a youtube video he rushed ran out of the hospital just to go make that youtube video without ever finding out if it was cancer or not here it says he's scheduled to get a confirmation test to see if it is 100 percent cancer soon or not so ironically even though he lied he may still have cancer the whole situation is fucked lying that you had cancer without even knowing just to get th sympathy and money from your community and scam scamming them with crypto because you think you might have cancer and you just want the money to pay for the bills bills being your girl 18 year old girlfriend is just fucked cancer is obviously a serious thing no one should ever joke about the whole thing the things people go through we don't know how it feels but the people who actually go th went through a treatment or are currently going through the treatment can't even imagine what they're going through and someone comes out and says that they have cancer just to collect money from people it's just fucked people are saying no one has ever done this on the internet but i decided to search it up apparently there's a shit ton of people who scam their audience claiming that they have cancer getting the sympathy of people honestly internet is a very fucked up wild Place. And according to Kim Star, this is Boogie's brother who came forward and said to those who are trolling my brother, I can confirm that his diagnosis of polycythemia vera is absolutely true. He has suffered with this debilitating condition for at least two years. I stake my reputation as a health professional on this fact. Now, Mr. Brian Williams, I want to say I will not trust anyone who puts PhD next to their name on Twitter as a username. And did he at least come with the proof and just put a picture of it blurring all the personal information just showed that he has cancer did he do it nope all we have is trust me bro well to be more specific trust my bro and towards the end of the stream boogie confessed that this whole thing was a scam and this was his exit plan so i would not walk away from 50k I'm i would not walk away i would not walk away from an internet career that's going to give you revenue that's going to be you're you're i would not walk away from shitting on these people yeah, and we are proving them wrong. People. We are different people. I yeah, you're looked, being looked, you're being ridiculous. Look, Jim, about again, it. since we're not live, I can say this. I've been looking for an exit plan for a while. This is an awful exit plan. <laughs> I swear zero brain cell. You are friends with Kim Star. Everything is live. Every single second is being recorded. But hey, <laughs> he confirmed that it has been an exit plan. He wanted to take this chunk of money and just go with it. And what makes it even more pathetic is he is in his 50s and he's acting like this. He's a 50-something-year-old man claiming that he has cancer because he thinks he has cancer. Not confirmed. It might come out, not gonna lie, it might come out and it is actually true, but it, he didn't know. It would be a total surprise for him if he just finds out that he actually has cancer and the whole situation will just get fucked. But even after he takes this test that he's about to take and it turns out he actually has cancer, his reputation is already out the window. No one's going to give a shit. He is 100% coming. Guys, real cancer this time. 
go fund me please i need money for medication and all these things i don't know what to say about this whole situation honestly it's just a very fucked one and to see someone 50 something year old man acting like this and faking cancer without ever confirming it is just just fucking pathetic any word that comes out of this man's mouth it's cancer Let's hope this guy actually decides to stay off the internet and just not embarrass himself anymore unless he's going for that personal record of giving himself the name of the new lowest of the low. I would tell him, grow the fuck up, but bro is literally more than double my age. So th th it's too late. It's too late for him to grow up at this point. He should just get off the internet, start a different type of business because this is it. This is a nail in the coffin. This is it. Over. Even if it's turns out he ha actually has cancer he already scammed his audience when he didn't when he didn't even know he had cancer or not anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments below give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video this yapping sessions if you like these yapping sessions drop that sub take it for yourself i'll see you at the next one